Hello, um, welcome to uh, today's video. Um, in this video, we're going to look at the laws of exponents. And that is uh, basically to understand what exponent is. Uh, exponent is just this number that is raised, this power that, is, that um, for example, if you have a, a whole number like an X here, when you have A, like that X raised to power, um, is, uh, so we have the x and then we have power power a and here x power b so this a and b these are the x um exponents okay um and for that case now we're going to start with the product rule that means like what happens when you multiply um values with the same base yeah here with the same base what happens when you multiply um, two numbers with the same base but different or same maybe uh, exponents? So that's what we're going to look at in this case now. Um, if it's a product rule, then you realize that if we have the same base, then our exponents are just going to be addition. So what we're trying to say here is, let me make it a bit bigger. So what we're trying to say here is that um, if I have, let's say, um, yeah, let's go to the question direct. If I have here z power three multiplied by z power nine, we have the same base, we have the same whole number here, it's only raised to power three. And then our answer, like you see here, is going to be um, z. So here we're just going to say z, and then we're just going to add the power, so 3 plus 9. So that's going to be 3 plus 9, which is going to be z power 12. So that is the principle that we're going to deal with when we're dealing with um, the product law. Okay, so let's look at another one. Another example. Here we have here 7 b cubed uh, multiplied by b um, power 4. So in this case, like you see, if you see these two b's actually because there's no gap and there's no uh, sign, although there's no sign between them, uh, what we're talking about here is like you multiply them. And in this case, we have a whole number, which is 7. So since 7 is not um, part of them, so we're just going to have 7 here. And then now we have two b's, um, which means the bases are the same. So we're going to have now here b, and then we're just going to add the exponents. So b, uh, 3, plus 4. So what you're going to have, to have here finally is going to be b, a 7, b, or 7. Yeah. So let's look at um, c. So th this is easier if you're working with exponents and you just have to multiply the, the figures um, and they have the same base like this now. The only thing you need to do is to uh, add the exponents. So here we have 4x, squ uh, 4x squared um, in brackets. So we want to open the bracket. So basically we're going to have here, um, yeah, and this is 5x. So this is so, not so difficult. Um, our main focus is going to be we're going to multiply whole number so that they remain whole number. So in this case, um, to open the bracket, we're going to have here four x squared. You know, actually, it's just basically multiplied by five x. So um, like terms, you can see now we have here x squared and this x. So this is x power one. So basically, when it comes to x x's, we're just going to say you know x. Um, and then we're going to add the basis, uh, the, the exponent, which is like two plus one. Uh, but then for the first time, um, the first thing to do will be multiply four by five. So that's going to give us 20. And then we're going to have X. And then we just are going to add the exponents here. So we have two plus one. So in this case, we're going to just have 20 X power three. And that's going to be our answer for that case. Easy peasy, it's not so difficult. 
Yeah. So let's let's see um the last one D, how D behaves. Um D is almost like what we just did, see. So I guess it's going to be easier for everyone or for you to also understand. So here we have six x power five. So we have x exponent five. And then here we also have three x exponent one. Okay, so that that's actually the the first rule that um um everyone has to know that um when we have x power zero that one equals to one, but when you have x power one that one equals to x. Okay, so that is um what we're dealing with here. So that when you see x. That's actually the first rule of um, exponent, uh, the laws of exponent. So here we're going to take the full numbers here. Uh, this whole number, which is six by three. So basically we're going to say, so let's let's open the bracket first. Um, so let me wrap this one up. So we want to open the bracket so that we have here six x power five multiply by three X, okay, and that is power one. So that if you have six multiplied by three, it will give us 18. And then now X, we just add the exponent, which is five plus one. So that's going to be 18 X power six. So yeah, that is all that I wanted us to talk about now. Um, very simple sum here, exponents, especially the product, um, is so simple. Sometimes you get a number and then you're supposed to um just make the just make the base the same. Yeah. So just this can be very easy or can also be very difficult, uh, depending on how you uh, look at it and the senses that you see. Um, so for example, if someone gives you, let's say, I just want to give you an example here. Um, if someone says, for example, 9x, uh, let me just, uh, yeah, so if someone talks about 9x, squared multiplied by three power five, um, let's say x power three. So let's, if we have an example like this, um, the idea is that also if you want to deal with um, nine so that you have the same base here, you can just say that nine equals to three squared, okay? So now um, you can now convert this one to be three squared, three power two, x squared, multiply by three power five, x cubed. So if you call, let's say the like term, so we have three here, three here, so we're going to have three power two, because now we're just going to add the exponents. This is five and this is two. So plus five, and then uh, we multiply that one by X. So then we have here, X is also the same, X power two plus then three. So at the end of it all, uh, you see now we had nine, but now we just wanted to make this one easy. So now we have here um, three power seven, X power five. In normal situation, I will leave it at this, but if you want, you can also just uh, calculate and find out what is uh, three raised to power seven, and then um, yeah, write the answer, and then X remains um, X power five. So that's, that's basically um, what needs to be done. Um, I've been working with some students and I realized when I gave them this, methods it was so easy for them but when when we changed and now started working with you know like 27 9 
they didn't think in terms of you know um simplifying nine so that you get the same value as three so that you have the same base so that's something that uh, you as a student you need to think about and um focus on otherwise um that was the lesson today i wanted us to handle so now we have considered the law of exponent rule one which is basically um the product rule on how to multiply um two numbers um with the same base um and different exponent or the same exponent so thank you so much and i look forward to hear from you soon bye bye